Hi everyone, today I'm on my toy hunt at Walmart. This Walmart has a front card section by the registers and they have the Pokemon Trick or Trade pack. We just have one left, but that's cute. They're like meant to be given out for Halloween bundles. They also have a Charizard there. They have some Squishmallows, which I haven't seen these before. I'm not sure what these plushies are. That That's a controller. <laughs> I think that's the wrong box, but cool stuff. They also have a section, sort of by the Halloween stuff, of Jumbo Halloween Squishmallows. And look at the Dracula. There's a cute little witch. The owl. And then there you have a bat as the candy corn. Okay, that one's cute. That one's so cute. They have the pumpkin in the top hat. I love the scarecrow owl. I have him in a small form. And then they have the little kitty with the witch hat. I really do like the candy corn bat. So cute. So fun to see, and they're $27.98 here at Walmart. Walmart has a Pixling end cap display, which is why I came to this Walmart. I usually don't film at this one. It's a little bit farther away, but I was hoping to find the exclusive butterfly Pixling. They have such a cute side cap with the art. So, so pretty, but they have a nice selection. I don't know if the deer is one of these. Now that I'm looking at these, they all look like um, the unicorn pixling and Marina. And then in back by the Magic Mixies, they have Flitta. Oh my goodness, look at her packaging. So you can tell right away and her heart is pink and glittery and then the packaging itself is pink with Flitta on the front. Oh my goodness. Okay, so yes, that, that worked. That's a good way to check stock at Walmart and Target as well. So they have a nice little Magic Mixie section in back. They have some real littles, some of the new little journal sets, which are really cute. They even have Furbies and the cookies. Those are starting to, to get really popular. And then up top there, it looks like they might have another flit up there, but they have some overstock um, as well. So that's definitely check multiple sections um, if you're looking for these at Walmart. They also have the new Movie Moment series, the little little mouse live pets that I opened. That's cute. That was fun. That was really fun to unbox. And then they also have some of the adorable packs, the new Incredibles, which is really cool. I know there's that new Nightmare Before Christmas one as well. And then they also have some of the mini brands, Series 5 up there. And then, oh, speaking of which, here's the little live pets lamb. So cute, shaking her little fuzzy tail. And at this particular Walmart, this is all in the back section. They also have some clearance items now at Walmart. So it looks like these little LOL pets are on clearance, which is a pretty good price, as well as the Earth Day ones. Oh wow, and the Monster High dolls are on clearance for 17 and it's not rollback, it does say clearance. But I know there's a lot of new dolls coming out, so maybe they are trying to get rid of the initial stock. So that's a good price if you didn't pick up the, the first release to kind of to get them now. Some of the little surprise plushies are on clearance as well, the Malo Malo and the little Lucky Fortune ones. Those are cute, as well as fashion fidgets. We've seen some of those at Five Below, which is still the better price. Oh wow, and a couple um, Polly Pocket play sets. This cute little kangaroo zoo one is on rollback. That's a pretty pretty good deal. And then these smaller ones, not the pinatas, but these these ones here. Well, that's really cute. So definitely Walmart must be getting ready for the holidays and, and clearancing out some, some other things to make room. <laughs> Down the action figure aisle, they have a couple new Pokemon figures. Haven't seen Scyther before. He looks pretty cool. And then there's Ash there. They also have the Firework Freddy, which he's cute. And then a lot of Balloon Chicas, <laughs> which, are, which are very cute too. Walmart has a section that's kind of getting ready for the holiday items. And look at, we found another Disney Dorables advent calendar, but this time it's Series 5? What? Target had the Series 7 last week. 
And this one has series five. I wonder why they're going ba so far back in the series. But it's cute. It's a little gingerbread house. And then we also have this Disney advent calendar too. But, oh wow, it shows you um, nothing <laughs> of what's inside. It just says 24 surprises. And it feels kind of light, so I'm not sure if they're figures. I'm not sure, but there you go. And this section, yeah, they're definitely getting ready for the holidays with some of the, the larger stocked items. We've seen that before. Um, I just didn't think so soon in September. So we have a lot of the Lego holiday packs. We have Star Wars and Harry Potter, which that looks like a fun set. And then right beneath that, we have the Spider-Man one, the Marvel one. So we, we saw most of these um, at Target, at least with the Lego series. And Walmart must be anticipating these cookies makeries to be popular for the holidays because they are stocking up on these little ovens. They intrigue me. So you can get cinnamon treats or bakery treats based on the oven you select. And it looks cute. I think the pet, yeah, it's an electronic pet, which I could do without that. But they, they, the concept is adorable, and I do like the food themed. So you can see this one's the cinnamon treats, and then I think there's like three different possible animals you can get, and then those are the bakery treats. So I guess there's six plushies total, but you select, you know, the oven that you want, whether it's the cinnamon or the, or the bakery. So that's really cute. The, these these are very tempting. <laughs> And then they also have another bin of Squishmallows for Harry Potter. So we have the house icons. We have Ravenclaw, which that's cute. Okay, he's he's adorable. I like how um, the little scarves are embroidered. And then we also have Hufflepuff. That's a neat idea. Oh, and then we have a frog. I thought that was slithering, but no, that's just a, a frog down there. But those look really cute. So they're missing Gryffindor and Slytherin, which I guess would be popular. Okay, I'm back home from my toy hunt, and the only thing I purchased from Walmart is the gorgeous Flitta Pixling doll from Magic Mixies. Just the packaging alone looks awesome, so you can tell she's the only doll that is the Walmart exclusive, which is really cool to find. Even the tag is different with the wings. I have a feeling her dress with like the wing overlap is going to be stunning. Pixlings have absolutely won me over, and so happy to find um, Flitta, the Walmart exclusive. So definitely if you're on the hunt, you can check Walmart's website. That's what I did to try to find one sort of near me. It was about 18 miles away, but still they had it and they're now doing the overstock and side aisle full of some holiday merch. So definitely check around um, and check up top just, just in case because they are beginning to, to stock up. So very, very excited to unbox her. <laughs> And that'll do it for this week's toy hunt. I hope you enjoyed it or found it useful for your own shopping. If you did, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And I want to thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.